Capricorn Taurus, death through the cooling twilight. I adore this quote, the ends of the earth, because it's basically Gatsby professing his love in a settled tone. I chose this because it shows passion and that he would sacrifice anything for his lover. And also it blends love and conflict in one single sentence. This quote is truly beautiful since it's so simple yet you can interpret it in so many ways. It's elegant, refined, and personally I think it defines half the book. The book title is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Carraway is a novel narrator who is honest and likes to observe the many love triangles included in this book. He is a young man from Minnesota who moved to New York in 1922 to explore new businesses. He rents out a house in West Egg District of Long Island. His neighbor is the mysterious Jay Gatsby, who is very charming and I bet if you went to high school, all the girls would literally crush on him. I mean, who wouldn't? He's Jay Gatsby. Gatsby lifts a rather short jazz age tale into the realms of the great American novel. Gatsby throws extravagant parties and he always lurks around instead of captivating the audience attention. But the only reason he throws parties is for his long lost lover, Daisy Buchanan. Daisy Buchanan is Nick distant cousin and I personally do not like Daisy because she is a manipulative beast and she's very shallow. She always blames Gatsby for the things she has done and she and Gatsby fell in love in the war but when he went she waited and waited and he never came back. Tom Buchanan swept Daisy off her feet by offering her the finest things in life. Tom believes he is the top of the chain but in my opinion he's a lifelong jerk. Much of the novel is taken up with snippets of backstories which weave through the plot, revealing and amending as the truth about James Gatt. I've read this book so many times. It's like drinking coffee. The first sip isn't as delightful as you wish, but then later on it becomes one of your essentials. F. Scott Fitzgerald writes prose like others write poetry. Perfection is one of the many suitable words to describe the great Gatsby. I really have nothing but praise for this book, and it's an all-time and must-read for anyone who is remotely literate. You might ask, why should I read this book? It's so short. But anything can come from this book. Well, it's constructed so eloquently, and your vocabulary will be enriched as your love for classic books. I love this book. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Come on, ladies. I like it. Lick and die. Coming soon. Come on, ladies.